morning. We are at the Yongsan Pond and Suspension Bridge, I believe that's what it is. Suspension Bridge is actually above me and I'll get a better shot of it for some re-roll here in a second. And uh, yeah, this is that famous pond that was turned into a stream that led out to the ocean. So it's uh, still as gorgeous as ever. Really, the water is just so crystal clear. I mean, the air here is nice and fresh. It's kind of funny that you could see planes come in that are landing over by the airport which we're right next to we got a little bit of a late start today so we're gonna be checking this out a rock and i think that's about it i think we're going to the uh lotte rent a car after this and then we're gonna turn in our car i was hoping that we could get some food but i don't think we have enough time anyhow we'll uh check back in a moment here once uh we get to our next deal and welcome back we are currently standing in Busan at Joryong Coastal Walk and we were at Yongyon I think I was calling it something else earlier Yongyong Pond earlier today in Jeju and finished up there went over to Yondam Rock to go see the Dragon Head Rock before hopping it over to the airport to come to Busan the flight here it was quite easy. Walking through Busan Airport was kind of neat. It was the first time I've ever done that. That was pretty awesome. We immediately went to the air or the hotel to check in. Julia decided that she wanted to bounce out one night early. So we're in talks with uh, Agoda right now to make sure that they allow us to. It looks like everything should be fine, but uh, I keep checking. They do take a little, little while to get anything updated. It's been a uh, it's been almost 10 minutes since the guy last chat to me after asking me a question. I kind of wish he would confirm what I said. That being said, she's not here with us currently. She is at the hotel trying to book another hotel in Seoul. And when she's all said and done with that, she'll probably come out here to meet us. She's probably going to go to Jigolchi Market, which is the next place that we'll be going to. So for dinner. And then tonight is laundry night. That's kind of how we're going to fish off, but right now I'm standing in the portion of this place that is known as the Santorini of Korea. And I believe that's true. It's really beautiful. It's pretty amazing. The white and blue definitely helps. And being along the coast really helps. But we will uh, see what happens next. We'll uh, check back in in a moment. And welcome back. We are at Jigulchi Market. We finished at the Joryong coastal walk that was pretty amazing went from one end to the complete opposite end and now we walked or we took a bus all the way to Jigulchi market and had a fantastic dinner tons of seafood we had fish four or five different types of shellfish we had eel we had live octopus we had sashimi it was an amazing meal it was like overall just really good times and we had some makori some soju and some beer because I'm not driving. <laughs> Makes life a whole hell of a lot easier. And then we are about to head back to the hotel now to uh, do laundry. This is it for the night. Once we get to the hotel, we'll do a, a room tour and finish off the night. Anyhow, back in a second. Welcome back. And we are at our hotel, La La Bianca Business Hotel in Busan. We checked in earlier, way earlier. It's actually midnight, past midnight now. So we were doing laundry and yeah, I totally underestimated how long it was gonna take. We should have done it before we went to dinner. Now that we're doing it past dinner, it's gonna be like a two, 3 a.m. type of, I have to go down and restart the machine type of thing. But anyhow, let's do a quick room tour of the joint. All right, that's the elevator and we're staying in room 501. Go inside, there's our doorbell. Make this quick, it's actually past midnight now. We're doing our laundry, as I said before, so. Um, room's a little messed up. We do have the sink area, which is cool. And then we have a shower area with a nice toilet. We have our charging station, a safe. <laughs> yeah, a toilet that bites is what Lynn found out. Uh, not because it's better, but because that's what the instructions say. We have some free water, two free per day. It's kind of nice. 
And then there's all these like amenity stuff. They were all in here. That's a shaving kit. There's also two toothbrushes and like a women's vanity kit. Um, we have coffee with our water boiler up there, tissues. And then as we come to the room, we have our big screen TV and my bed, which is a mess right now. Lynn's bed, the window, um, and then our closet. This is like a clothing fridge. Yeah, clothing fridge. <laughs> like it we. Keeps things, like not humid, like a dehumidifier or something. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Have no idea what that is, but. And then we have our closet right here with robes and a fire extinguisher. But yeah, that is pretty much the room. I will go ahead and get back to finishing off the night. Alright, welcome back. As you can see, the room is quaint. Not bad. It's nice. Everything is easy to get to. It's The bed's comfortable. Well, like I said um, before, the laundry is going we have timer set and we have an 8 30 meetup time downstairs later today so we'll see how that goes because i'm trying to get to gum chung village i think it is early but we finished up dinner at jagulchi market came back home and did laundry immediately like we got back at about 10 and i was like oh man if we get laundry done before midnight i'll be ecstatic notably if we would have been doing laundry at the place in seoul that i am familiar with i think we would have been able to finish prior to that the the dryer that they have here is a non blow dryer they use centrifugal force to try to suck all the water out of everything rather than have uh, hot air be circulated which that kind of sucks i wish they would just use the hot air it almost makes me want to just go out and look for a 24-hour laundry place and just go do laundry there because i think it would only take a half an hour if we were to do the drying in that thing but that is just another part of travel we've set our alarms the hotel is comfy the people here are quite kind they have pretty amazing food all around this place too but it is busan so can't be too surprised about that anyhow we'll uh See you in the next video. <laughs> Have a good night. I'm I'm deadbeat. <laughs>